Hey, how's it going, YouTube? What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Aqua Porn with me, Steve. I am jumping back onto my Arduino project. Right here, you're seeing one of several boards that are Marini designed boards by Mar Aqua Aquatics. Uh, designed and made them specifically for the Aqua Porn edition. This here, first one I'm starting out with is going to be the Atlas stamp board. If you've been following the Arduino controller build, you'll know that I had difficulty with my pH probe simply because of electronic noise. I was getting a, a lot of electronic noise and the data was just garbage so it wasn't like working properly. Uh, so uh, Maraqua Aquatics, uh, Marini Design Board, designed this one for me with an octocoupler in it that'll isolate this circuit and uh, hopefully it'll start producing some usable data so we're gonna give it a uh, check out this is the timestamp hopefully I didn't fry it this plugs right in to this board the actocoupler here and then our connections red is the voltage white is ground then I've got the another white and yellow which I've already connected I had to solder those on myself uh, for the RXTX. Um, I'm only going to be using one stamp, one board. That's all I feel you really need. I mean, if you want to get into salinity and, and everything along those lines, I guess you could, but it just seems to me, you know, ORP, all good things to know, but you can get away without having all that um, unless you're running like a 500 gallon system or something along those lines weekly water changes and stuff pretty much take care of all that I would guess for you so let's uh, check it out we're gonna I've got it already mounted and ready to go into the system so I just have to plug it in and set her up okay so this is gonna be really hard to see because with the LED blinking it's gonna mess with the camera a little bit but as you can see I have the stamp board in place. It's running. Green is standby. When it flashes blue, that means it's reading data from the probe. And I've had the board on now for oh, almost two weeks. I did have to get a new st Atlas stamp. This is the Evo class, so it's actually the newest edition compared to the one I had. But it is keeping some excellent data, as we can see here. It was really easy to just use the code that's already in the stamp and then just parse float it into uh, something that can read out on on the uh, LCD. So Mar Aqua Aquatics hit a home run with this stamp board. It was untested. I'm the one testing it. And the octocoupler is working great. It is isolating any electronic noise and just giving me pure data. Next board I'm going to be trying out is an expansion board for the Arduino itself. Stay tuned for that. And comment, rate, subscribe. We'll catch you all next time. 